Hello and welcome to day 130 in this quest for a 2000 rapid chess rating on chess.com. Uh, so I recently played some blitz games with the hippo defense and a viewer uh, mentioned that they liked rapid games better. So I will try a hippo defense today, uh, whether I have white or black. So let's see uh, who I will be playing here. All right. Well, it's really taking a while to search here. Okay, we have a 1660, so we're about evenly matched. So, let's see here. Here goes the hippo defense. Now, one advantage of the hippo defense is sometimes the opponents are not sure what to play against it. Okay, so right away, they push in the center there, so that's interesting. Um, we'll just ignore that for now and just keep developing. Now, we have to keep an eye on these diagonals. The bishops, uh, you know, if my opponent moves this bishop here we could pick this pawn off you know so that is a possibility trapping his rook here all right so now uh, we do want to move here slow down the progress of his pawns which are pushing forward all right well, let's keep his pieces out by playing that move, which prevents him from pushing forward here. All right. Hmm. He has a little tricky maneuver here, threatening Hmm, interesting. Threatening a little attack here on our king. So, what should we do to, to fight that? Hmm. All right, so he's probably going to want to push this forward. So how can we handle that? How can we handle that? All right. Almost looks like we could run into some problems already. So... All right, we'll do that and see how they respond here. There is still the possibility that they could just push here. All right, and the opponent holds off on doing that. Okay. So now, what should we try to do next? We could just push forward here. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, let's see, let's see, maybe we go here, we'll just do that to a waiting move to see what 
the opponent decides to do here. Oh, and I, you know, maybe I should have gone here, just immediately attack that bishop. All right, so now the knight is, you know, white is just developing all his pieces in towards the center, you know, which is pretty smart. How should we follow this up? You know, do we go here? That's a possibility. Hmm. All right, if I go here, he could just push forward So we'll go ahead and do that, which I don't know, looks pretty crazy. All right, so. Hmm, could have a queen check here. All right, the knight jumps in. So let's go ahead and do that. Could have been the sneaky maneuver here. You're trying to jump this way. Hmm. All right. So what now? What now? Um. We just go ahead and castle over here. We'll be kind of lined up on the queen. I don't know if I want to castle over there. So. Hmm. Do we jump up here? Jump up here. All right, well, really have to think about this. So he's pushing over on this side. If he pushes forward, we could go up there. If he pushes this way, I don't know if I like that. If he goes there, we're gonna have to capture. So, do we push an attack here or we just go here? And if he captures, we capture. So I think we're just gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and attack. Could capture on passant here, but then we capture if he captures, our queen is able to jump over here. Hmm. If he ignores this, then what do we do next? Develop this knight, which is important. Hmm. 
I could probably even have gone over here maybe targeted this pawn uh, but then you know they have options he could drop back he could just go ahead and castle you know and then do I have a follow-up all right so I don't know here I think I'm just gonna take then if he recaptures I come out ahead of pawn in this so that I don't mind um, his knight does jump into the game here, so I'm going to have to do something about that. What is best? Just go ahead and capture that knight. So, yeah, I'll just go after the knight here, I guess. Oh, and, well, no. Pretty much just have to capture the knight. If he captures me, uh, my bishop just jumps into the game. All right. Well... All right, I think we will just go there. We'll get ready to trade. We'll just trade off. Then bring up my, my king. We don't want to bring our rook over because uh, that could cause a problem. Hmm. I think we'll just go there. Well, we'll go there, bring our knight up. Then we can bring the other rook over. Hmm. Where can we? All right, well. <clears throat> Hmm. We'll just go there. Okay. The only problem, he could just push forward and then our knight is kind of blocked. Pretty good there. Hmm. All right. Ah, uh, what is this? It looks like I'm having a connection issue here. Come on. Why am I having a connection problem? All right. So they back up, threaten to go there. Um... All right. If I go here, he attacks with his pawn and I jump forward and I attack him, well then what do I do? I don't want to get trapped there. So, hmm.
All right, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, we have a check. We have a check. All right. have a check okay I pretty much have to go there I need to swing this rook up I think probably should push this forward as well and force him to make a decision on what to do. All right. Well, now what? Now what? Do I push here or here? Problem is, hmm, as if he is able to bring this rook over and cause problems. Do I go this way, capture away from the center? That is the question. Hmm. All right, we'll do that. Okay, now. Which way to go? Um knight yeah probably the bishop because if i you know capture with the knight out my knight would end up being trapped okay well that keeps our knight out of the game so hmm i'll go there see what my opponent does Okay, I need to get my knight somewhere. You know, this pawn is going to be a problem, maybe. Hmm. All right. What can we do? If we go here, here, and here, that could block him out. Here, here. So we'll go there. We have to watch out that his rook doesn't, you know. Okay, so here his rook's going to try and swing over to there. So we're going to go there and block him out. All right, so I think that'll work. We'll go here 
and then bring our bishop up and just be able to block. All right. So we've taken care of that. Now, um, what do we do next? Just go there. All right. Well, if we let him take, then that could be a problem. So, hmm. Do we take this way? All right, let me think about this because now it is getting a little bit tricky. So, you know, if we take this way, if we go here, his rook will pile up on that. So do we have to go this way? If we go this way, he'll capture. Um, we're going to have to bring our rook over here. Mm, I don't know. This is not looking too good. Do I capture this way? Does that even matter? Because he's just going to recapture back. So we'll just go ahead and do that. All right. Now... Hmm. Now what? Now what? Okay. Ah, man, I got myself in a bind here. So... If we go here, protect, we'll be all right. All right, I think we should ignore this and just go here. Like that. All right, now, probably need to go this way, or do we go this way and keep our pawns together? That is the question. Hmm. Well, we should probably go this way and keep our pawns together. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right. So if he attacks me there, then what? I just go here. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. I'm going to have to go here, I think. Here. I think I'm going to have to do that. Uh, been on the just on the defensive here the whole time, which is not good. Now, will he just go here? You know, he could capture my knight. Then if I go here, his rook will be able to infiltrate into the position. All right, do I go here? No, don't want to do that. Um, I think we should just block. Just block like that. then maybe I can swing my rook up here and try to uh, get into his position. Since his bishop is stuck over here, I might be able to swing my rook over. So one, two, three. That would take him one, two. I don't think he would get there in time. Hmm. Oh, I have to watch out. There is a little trap, though. You know, if I... If he lines up on this... Hmm. I have to watch out here. How about, should I check him? And if he moves, I swing over here. So maybe that is a possibility. All right, have to be careful. Um, I go here, his king could come forward. Maybe I go here and just check him. Hmm. 
All right. Well, at least I have him thinking, but man, he's got about nine minutes versus my three and a half. So I need to be careful no matter what I do here. Hmm. Do I run over here? On this side, he could try and pin me. Um, if he goes after this, that will not be good. All right, I think I have to go there. Ugh, that could be bad. He could go after those pawns there. I mean, he could give up his bishop. So he gives up his bishop, I capture. He goes in here and checks me, and I go here. He could have a passed pawn that might be really hard to stop. So... I don't know, my opponent might get a breakthrough here if I'm not careful. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, now if they look at this long enough, they might just sacrifice here. Sacrifice the bishop. I capture. He comes in here, delivers a check. I have to run up here. He could either check me again, but then I could run here. Hmm. I don't know. It's looking pretty dangerous. Okay, let's... All right, so he decides to go after this. All right. Well, do I go up here and just protect? Maybe I have to. Maybe I have to protect. What I need to do is get this. All right. So he decides to go that way. Hmm. All right. Well, that kind of helped me out, I think. Um, do I just take? Yes, I think I have to take this way. Man, this guy is a tricky one. A tricky one. All right. 
so I can't afford to go here or even here or here could even just go here uh, but I have to watch out because he could try and pose some problems. All right, what to do, what to do. I have to activate my king. I have to activate these pieces. Just to go there. Uh, now he can go that way. All right. Well, could just block him. Now what? What will he do? What will he do? All right, well, I, at least I have him in a little conundrum here. You know, what can he do? Check? He can check me, but then I can go here. If he tries to go here, well, then I can check him. All right. A pretty tricky one here. Okay, so he's in trouble. He has a pinned bishop. A pinned bishop. So what can he do? If he moves this way... Alright, so he does decide to check me. Um, I have to protect here, so I might as well do that. Uh, 
All right. Well, that bishop is just trapped. So I think if I don't mess this up, I'll be okay. Now I can just go here. And now he's just stuck. Now I just go after his bishop. You know, what's he do? He goes here, uh, pinning this, but then I take with the rook with check. Then once he moves, um, all right, so we'll go ahead and do that. Deliver the check. And then we can just go after this pawn next. So not looking good for him. Not looking good for him at all. Now we can just pick off this pawn. Yeah, so now we just wipe out his pawns. Um, where is best to put this? Probably here. Although I probably should have kept his um, king trapped. But it doesn't matter now. Now I can just go after all these pawns. If he tries to bring his... What's he going to do? Try and bring his king down here and go after this. But there's no way. So he just resigns. All right. So let's do a game review. Uh, the hippo defense ooh, started out rocky in the beginning. And, you know, that's mostly because I'm still... It's, the hippo defense can be complicated, especially in a slower game where the opponent has time to look at everything. And I don't know, I'm still trying to improve on my hippo defense. So it looks like whoa, white had the advantage for two-thirds of the game, and then it went to even, and then they made a mistake here, a game losing excuse me, mistake. So my opponent played at 73 point, excuse me, 73.4% accuracy versus my 79.8. Uh, and then I had four great moves. Uh, we'll have to see, you know, if they're really so great, we'll check those out. Um, and now 17 best moves they played versus my 22, but I only played two excellent moves versus their 10. All right, down to the mistakes here. So inaccuracies, I had eight versus their five. We both had four mistakes and two misses. They had two blunders and I had one blunder. So we'll have to see what those are. And underneath my image here, it says that uh, my opponent played at a 1450 rating level versus my 1850. Uh, and then in the opening, 90.1 for my opponent and 77.5 for me. So looks like I could have played that opening better. Uh, the middle game, 69.3 for my opponent, 75.5 for me. And the end game is really where they had trouble. 57.2% accuracy versus my 94% accuracy. So study those end games. All right. Uh, the quick game review, and then I will uh, do a little computer analysis afterwards. All right. So if you're going to Fianchetto and not fight for the center, why not just, you know, why my opponent should just grab a bunch of the center if he likes to play that way. So... But, I don't know, he kind of wasted this move pushing this pawn forward. It didn't really matter, though. Um, and then, I, this was a bad move, a mistake here, where I retreated back. But I was worried about him pushing forward and then attacking here uh, with a check and sending my king running. You know, I didn't want to have to deal with that. And... You know, if he captured here, and I captured, the rook would be under attack as well, or excuse me, the bishop would be under attack as well. So we'll definitely have to look at that in the analysis. 
All right. Uh, what did they say would have been best? Best would have been... Huh. To go there. All right. Yeah, now that I look at that, it appears that... If they push here, I could just capture that. And if they sacrifice, then I just move over here, I guess. All right. Well, uh, let's see you know, what, what happened later. Another mistake. So now they're saying I should have just pushed in the center immediately. All right. So I didn't uh, play my hippo defense too well in this, this uh, variation in this game. All right, a blunder here. Yeah, this just lets me capture and go up a pawn. So I don't know what they were thinking here. They should have retreated back, apparently. So we trade off. Trade Now this was a mistake. Apparently, I should have gone here and stayed on the dark square. All right. Yeah, because that did take a square away from my knight. I, needed, I really needed to get this knight developed over here. All right. Uh, another mistake. So I was just full of mistakes. It looks like it would have been better to just go here. All right. Hmm. Okay. On we go. So I could have definitely played this game a little bit better. And a mistake here, they should have first pushed forward here uh, to open things up. All right, so moving on. Now that they pushed, this is a mistake. So interesting how timing makes a crucial difference here. Ooh. So this is a blunder. We'll have to see why this is such a blunder. It looks like that was a game-losing blunder. Hmm. Not sure why. All right, we'll definitely have to check that out. Um, re well, let me go back and see what the best move, um, you know, instead of that move, best would have been what? To just capture. Okay, huh. If I would have captured that way, I guess this pawn would help block his uh, bishop. But, you know, he would capture. Then I'd have to protect this by going here. Hmm. All right. Well, let's keep on moving here. A mistake, they should have immediately gone after this. Uh, a missed opportunity, they should have pinned this to my, well, not really a pin. All right, so that is a great move. They really like that move. I guess it limits the scope of the bishop and it maybe threatens to attack that bishop in the future. Uh, and the game is even now, so Another great move, protecting this, but I don't know how great that was. And I was wondering if they would go here, I would capture, they could try and go here, uh, or here and check me, forcing me back to here. Then they could go after these pawns. And I, I was worried about that. So something to look at in the analysis. All right, so we go here. They could have just gone back and forth. You know, forcing me to go back and protect this pawn and got a draw out of it. I guess they didn't want to draw, and that was a mistake. So, let's see here. Hmm. So, better to just go here. Maybe go, you know, bring the rook up here. Maybe go here and put pressure on this. And this is a blunder by my opponent. Oh, because it allows the pin, uh, the attack. It, might, it allows me to attack the pinned bishop here. All right, so that was the best move. 
to go here. All right. Then we put pressure on this. So yeah, now we're pretty much winning. So my opponent just uh, resigns here. All right. Well, let's uh, take a look at the computer analysis. So back to the beginning. So we had e4, b6, trying to set up the hippo defense, which is And you know, I don't know if we even were able to set up the hippo defense. I think it just starts as a Owens defense, and I don't know if we even make it to a hippo defense. Let's see. Uh, we we're able to fianchetto that. They, you know, maybe this is a wasted move. What does the computer say about this? Computer just recommends developing uh, a knight or a bishop. So either bishop to d3 or the knight to c3 so uh, because this is under attack instead they decide to take care of it by pushing forward gaining space and then here the best thing is what knight to f6 is recommended hmm excuse me knight to f6 just attacking this pawn at the base of this pawn chain but then they should just protect and then it looks like e6 is preferred just attacking all right well i play this the computer doesn't like that saying it's an inaccuracy that i should have developed the knight but i'm trying to set up the hippo defense where you fianchet of both bishops all right so now they push this forward the best move and white has a you know a pretty decent edge here by points plus 0.68 so i play this to slow down uh, the momentum of his pawns you know i don't want this one pushing forward um, you know now i could capture it so uh, bishop to d3 the recommended as best move now white is ready to castle so this uh an inaccuracy knight to f6 would have been better so yeah if i played knight to f6 well then i could get ready to castle um you know if my knight comes under attack i can just capture um you know and if i need to move this knight i could always drop it back to here you know, and then figure out what to do with this other knight later. Maybe push this pawn and then try and recapture if they capture. But anyway, um, the next move, this battery is created. An inaccuracy knight to c3 would be better. Uh, but one, they probably wanted to protect this pawn so they could develop their other bishop. And two, you know, I don't know if they were looking at pushing this and trying to go in for an attack here on this g pawn so knight to d7 the best move uh they want knight to c3 so the bishop develops instead which is still an excellent move and now we have a6 so in the uh hippo defense you kind of want to fianchetto both bishops a lot of times you'll put your pawns on a6 and h6 uh, that way if they start pushing down here you could push forward uh, or if they have a piece here you could push your pawn and chase them uh, you know although if it's a knight you have to watch out that if they have a knight on f4 and you attack it they can't just jump here and harass your bishop uh, so let's see next we have knight to c3 oh and in the hippo defense normally you want to bring this other pawn up here to e6 which you know we didn't do that here because they could just capture um let's see here after knight to c3 they recommend just jumping up here knight to f6 
uh, but we didn't do that. We made this mistake move. So instead, I should have gone here. Um, hmm, if they go there, now I can just capture this. You know, if they, if they capture me, I go here. Um, if he sacrifices his bishop, my king can always move over here and be uh, pretty safe, it looks like. All right, so uh, bad move. Knight to f8. I thought, well, I'll help defend, but yeah, that, that was not a good move. So their knight jumps forward, you know, threatening to jump in here maybe and try and harass me. This is an inaccuracy. They should have just gone ahead and castled and started, started activating their rooks. So queen comes up. They don't like this move. Um, better would have been what? E5. Just to immediately attack that knight. But, I don't know, then they could just capture here. Hmm. I don't know, it's looking uh, kind of tricky. I was worried about attacks on this pawn and on my king. So, in the game, uh, what do they recommend? E5, so let's take a look at that. E5, um, what if they capture here? Well, then our knight should capture. Uh, then if they capture, well then we capture. See, now they could push forward and threaten this mate here. And that's what's recommended. E5. Um, bishop takes E5 is the best move. And then we would have capture with check, king up to d7, and then queen side castling, lining up with the rook on the king and the queen. Um, material would be what here? Uh, am I behind a pawn? No, we're even in pawns, but I have the two center pawns. And they have a queen or a king side pawn majority over here. All right. Well, back to the game. Let's try to keep this moving along. Um, they don't like that, so they push forward. That's an excellent move. Although f4 uh, may be a better move. So finally, I play this. Now it's just a good move. Knight to f6 would have been better. And this blunder. So instead, knight to b3 should have been played. They should have just retreated back, you know, and then prepared to push the pawn forward, probably. So then if I play knight to f6, uh, they should castle. So castle. And then c5 is the second best move. They recommend, now they're even saying a4, just start slamming these pawns forward. Uh, knight at 8 to h7. So help for, really fortify this king side. Then I can castle over there. And now they're saying I should play a or what is it c5 over here. Man, I don't know about that though. They could capture. Then I'm left with a backward pawn. Hmm. I don't know. That looks dangerous. That c5 move for me. So if we take a look at that, if we go there, they're saying better to capture with the B pawn. Oh, but then we just recapture. So if they captured on Passant with a check there, well, then we just go here. Now, why wouldn't we capture with the queen? Because now they can just capture this. Oh, but then our rook could maybe come over, or our queen, and pick this off after the uh, bishop moves. All right, back to the game. Uh, we had this knight to c6 move allow me to capture, and then I just go up a pawn here. Uh, so the knight jumps into the position. We attack. Um, that's an inaccuracy. They should have castled. 
So now this allows me to trade off the queens when I'm ahead by a pawn, so that's fine with me. Rook captures, but this is under attack. So rook to a7. Huh, they recommend rook to a7 here. I was worried about this bishop being lined up on the rook, though, if I played rook to a7. So I go here. Now they're saying king to d8 is the best move. So king to d8, um, king up to e2 to activate the other rook. So something like that. Uh, and then a5, rook at h to c1. Ooh, they, here they say that white is ahead. They recommend I go ahead and take. Then they're going to take. And then what? Rook takes a2. This seems pretty dangerous. So uh, maybe, maybe not. If I go, you know, if they go here. Oh, it's a check. Okay. It's a check. So they got to go, what, king to d1. Why wouldn't you jump out this way, maybe, to help protect? Nah. Apparently, that's the best move. Then knight to d7. They could check, but this is protected here. I could just run away. Um... So they recommend going after both of the pawns. Hmm. All right. Let me move along here. Uh, back to the game. That way this video doesn't drag out for hours. Okay. A4 and then G5. A mistake here. Best would have been what? Uh, H5. That's what they recommend. But I don't know. I'd be worried about this bishop maybe taking control of this diagonal. Although I could fight for that by going here and then bringing my bishop over here. Or, uh, what do they recommend? Castling. Castling, and then we fight their bishop, trying to get rid of their bishop pair. Okay, so in the game I played g5. Uh, they attacked. That was a missed opportunity. Instead, bishop to e2 would be better because now they could maybe swing over here with check or even go after this pawn. Uh, so what should we play? Knight to h7. Then once again, castling is recommended. Uh, but in the game, after g5, they attack. Uh, they don't like this move. So instead, that was a missed opportunity. We should have just captured. So if we captured, uh, I wasn't a fan of that. Although, if they take, what do we have? Um, knight to h7, really? I mean, why wouldn't you just go here and attack the rook? Hmm. They recommend castling by white, but you know you think they would just do this, uh, and then a5 is the recommendation. Trying to gain space here, uh, and then if they capture, of course we capture with the rook. Although now they don't like that move, they recommend a check here first. Then what? King up to d8. Uh, because we have to protect this. So now they attack our rook. We go here. And then b5. And they kind of lock things in. But now this bishop is trapped. So I could just swing my knight over here. Then here, perhaps, go after that. All right, back to the game. We had h4. I protect. Uh, they swing their bishop around trying to activate it, so I go after their pawn here, uh, although that's an inaccuracy. f5 would have been better. Huh. f5. 
Why? Why F5? That does not look too good. Do I even want to look at that? You know, F5, they would just take. And then what? Then they recommend knight to H7. Then they capture again. I capture. Okay, we're protecting this, I guess. So now, what? Now they just castle. All right, yeah, the computer finds some uh, crazy continuations here. All right, so the game was at this point. They attack. I have to protect this pawn. So capture, capture, rook captures, and inaccuracy. Once again, they prefer castling. All right, now that is an inaccuracy. Bishop to d2 would have been better. Um, hmm. All right, well, I'm not going to look at that too much. Okay, so that a5 move was good. Uh, b5 was the best continuation. The knight you know, tries to find some kind of activity here. You know, what can I do? Oh, I guess here I was thinking about going here, here, and blocking this h file. All right, so that's what we do. Oh, they don't like that. They prefer bishop to g7 instead. So bishop to g7. And now... Oh, that, that allows us... That would have been even better, because then we can go up here and help guard this. Hmm. All right. Uh, bishop to e6. So here, oh wait, here attacking my knight. Uh, but the knight could go here. Hmm. Then what? We run over here? I don't know. This is like a plus three for white, so I'm not liking that too much. All right, so bishop to e6. We go up and defend our knight. The rook swings over, but, you know, he can't really do much here. Uh, but he, well, he does keep pressure on that knight, you know, so this bishop can't move. The computer likes an immediate f4 better here. So f4 uh, recommended is to capture towards the center. Oh, now it's saying capture the other way. But does that really matter? Uh, because they're just going to capture... And now, uh, what? Ignore. Knight to g8. Why would I go knight to g8 and just let him have this? Uh, we will not be playing that move. All right, I pretty much have to go here if I go there they're gonna capture oh man yeah I would have been in trouble here in trouble um, now what f5 hmm all right Maybe we have to try something like, nope, that won't work. Oh, man. Yeah, I could have been in trouble there. Uh, I don't see what I could do. He's lined up on my knight. He's going to bring this rook over. Hmm. Yep, once again, I could have been in trouble in that game. All right, let's uh, wrap it up here. So in the game, I move over here. We start trading. Uh, this was a blunder. So better would have been E takes F4. Uh, then what? Bishop takes F4. Piling up on my knight. Knight to F7. Um, rook 
Back over to C1 here. Rook to A7. Although now they recommend what bishop takes. Hold on. Bishop takes F7. Oh, they just recommend capturing there. All right, but this was played, uh, or could be played. Then that would force us to go here. Then capture, king captures, and king up to F3. So I don't know, we do have this isolated pawn, uh, but we're ahead of pawn, so I don't know, kind of tricky stuff here. And so in the game, we were at this position, they captured, I captured that way, but um, knight to f7 was better? Come on, well, I am ahead of pawn, so I don't know, I thought it liked this move. Or no, well, wait a minute. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that, do we? Um, huh. So I played that, but they want that knight to f7 move. So if I go there... They have rook takes h8, knight takes h8, then they can pick off a pawn, and the material would be even. Um, or rook to c1. Oh, that's pretty dangerous. Oh, wait, that's f1. That's a mistake, which allows rook to h2 check. So. Uh, they wanted rook to c1, so back over to here, which would force me to what? Go there. Oh, man. Mm. Rook to h2 check. All right, that could just get crazy after that. So let's get back to what was happening in the game. Capture, capture. Uh, this is a blunder move here. So capture, capture. Uh, we have an attack on our bishop, but rook to c1 would have been better just coming over this way. So if they would have done, if, or if they would have played that, um, then what is recommended? King up to f6. Well, what if we go here? Oh, a mate in five. What? No way. A mate in five there. So that was overlooked. So bishop check. Oh man, I would this, yeah, I would just fall apart if I go here. The rook is gonna come in. Oh, yeah. So that was missed. Um, they played rook to g1. Hmm. I don't know, I think I got lucky in that game. So, yeah, that's the best move to prevent this check. Then a missed opportunity, better would have been rook to h1, pinning my knight, while well, piling up on this knight too, it's not really pinned, but adding pressure to that knight. So if they went here, uh, then what? The knight drops back, then we have the rook coming over here. Now that would force me to protect, you know, or I could check. Um, oh no, bishop takes. So we, we wouldn't play that. So, oh man. Yeah, that's not so good. So maybe we have to play this. King to d3. Hmm. Yeah, not looking good. So I really got lucky in this game, apparently. So we go here. Uh, they attack. All 
right. A mistake. Rook to h5 would have been better. Rook to h5. So here, maybe getting ready to swap off. No. Maybe to go here. So rook to g2. Rook to g2. Is that best? Yes. Rook to h7 check. Bishop to g7. Huh. Okay, is that best? No, now they're saying king to d8, which is probably what I would play. I wouldn't want to have that pin. Uh, now they just attack. Uh, or rook to f7 attack from the other way, which would keep the king trapped. Okay, you get the picture. Yeah, they, they had so many ways to cause problems. So this is a blunder. Uh, they should have played rook to h5. But because of this blunder, uh, I'm able to attack. They attack, and now we get the bishop there. So we just run, run, and... We're ahead here. So after this, pick off the pawn. We're about to pick off all the other pawns. Uh, you know, once they go after that, we just go here protecting the pawn. We can go after this pawn, you know, and start moving pawns. We could go here, here, and just start pushing these pawns up. It's looking really bad for white now. All right, what can I say? I just got lucky in that one. Uh, so my rating jumped up to 1667 now. So it's climbing back up to uh, close to the all-time high, which I might have made it into the 1670s before. So we'll just keep playing. All right, feel free to leave any comments you would like. Uh, like and subscribe to support the channel if you haven't already. Feel free uh, to go ahead and do that. Thank you for watching and have a super chess day.